In this problem, we're trying to find the resistance of this coil that's wrapped 310 times around a cylinder. Um, the cylinder has a radius of here. Well, first of all, we're going to take a look at the equation for resistance. That's going to be R equals resistivity times length over the area. And we're also going to be looking at what this coil looks like. So we're going to wrap it 310 times around this cylinder and the cylinder has a radius here of 0 0.14 meters and 310 times well think about like how long that would be because usually the length of something is going to be the circumference right so the length of like a circle is the circumference 2 pi r um, but then we're also going to be multiplying that by uh, 310 so, you know, that's going to be the length of this whole thing. And the radius is going to be 0.14. So we'll put that in there, 2 pi r, or 2, point, 2 pi times 0.14. Bam! Times 310. I was going to see what that's in the calculator. So, 2 pi times 0.14 times 310. And uh, so we get... 434 over 5 pi for the length and then we've got this top part we also have this part already so we're close the resistivity is 1.69 e to the negative 8 uh, and this is the ohms meter thing and then this is going to be length which is 434 pi and I'll put the 5 down here at the bottom but we're going to multiply that by whatever area we get. All right, so we're close. I just need to find the area. And the area is probably going to be the area of, like, the little, the little tube of wire inside of there. Like, the cross-section of that wire. You know, the thing that's wrapped around. There's, like, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we're going to have to try to find the area of that little piece of the wire. <laughs> okay. So, um... Turns out that the diameter is that. So we know that the area of that circle should be pi r squared. But we only know the diameter, so let's divide that by 2. 0.17, one divided by 2, and there we go, we get, you know, uh, that. So that's what we're going to use in this. We're just going to go pi times 8.5 e to the negative 4, and then we're going to square that. Well, that should work. Our pi should cancel as well. And let's plug that into the calculator. So we'll go, you know, 1.69 e to the negative 8. That's going to be times 434 divided by 5 times 8.5 e to the negative 4 squared. And yeah, we get the answer of 2. That's what resistance is here.